All right, guys, here we are. Uh, RV jet got the wings off the plane after the maiden. I'm going to show you what I found I had an issue with when I was doing the flights was when uh, I got this plane into a high speed dive with the motor on coming down and trying to pull out of the dive, I got a lot of elevator fade. Okay, and to me, I mean, you shouldn't be having elevator fade on a model that goes this slow. So I know the servos were plenty good. The fade was coming from the elevons. Okay, the elevons made of this elepore. What happens is you can see if you have your control horn, which I've already taken off. You can see there's a lot of there's a lot of flex okay if you look here there's a lot of flex look at this flex that you can get okay so you have this here and then the wind comes up and this is your control surface pulling up and then this just gets flexed okay this is just see how flimsy that is that's just too much you know you're just gonna get any any kind of speed it's just going to flex on you and uh, so what I usually do is uh, for my DS planes my planks and then I put on um, a 10 mil 10 mil um, laminate okay so this is one of my DS planks and what you end up doing is uh, ironing this on and as you can see I mean it increases the torsion uh, rigidity something fierce okay so you know these these planes are doing like 150 180 miles an hour uh, <laughs> but even this one in a dive if it's doing 70 it shouldn't have any kind of uh, fade so what I'm going to do is I'll show you real quick what I what I've done on one of them already and that is you'll see the difference when you watch and see this one how how it just flexes right just everything's all flimsy okay now I've already done this one in the 10 mil laminate and you see how much stiffer it is it's just you know way, way stiffer so now when I pull up on the elevon you're not going to get this flexion uh, of the deflection of, of the control surface so that's going to help in you know just stability uh, reason on one of my uh, videos I think it was the maiden video if you look on the maiden keychain uh, I landed after about five minutes because I thought I didn't have like right aileron because it wouldn't turn right I mean it was like there was so much fade to the right from the fleck the the deflection that I, I could hardly even turn the plane and then when those dives you know and trying to pull out you know I had to back off the throttle slow the plane down in order for it to be able to pull up and out of the uh, dive so I'm going to just show you real quick how I do it it's, it's a 10 mil laminate I get it from my buddy I'm going to give him a plug uh, Jason from L2 airframes that's L like the letter L2 airframes uh, they sell the JW's and everything else uh, a few other planks and they sell this laminate you can get it in rolls it's usually good enough to do a 60 inch wing and I think I think the price is only about 15 bucks so you get one of those uh, rolls from him uh, you'll be set for a while I was gonna do this whole wing in a laminate but I've decided not to I mean it probably could use it but the issue is you know it's, it's fine if I did these here but when you start getting into these curves with a, a heavy laminate, it really becomes a problem with uh, wrinkles. 
So I'll show you real quick how to do this. It's, it's pretty easy. You just take a regular, you gotta have a household iron because this thing requires a lot of heat to retain. So you get like your regular household iron. Uh, I think this is probably heated up to like 400. tell you right now um let's see what kind of degrees is it heating up to oh well, it's not that high it's like 275 degrees yeah so you get it between 260 and 270 you'd be good so all right here's what we do we usually do the top first so i've already pre-cut them to, you know, pretty much, it's just kind of close, you know, not trying to do anything rocket scientists here, you know. It's just, just something to stiffen up the control surface a little bit, you know, it's just a little, little weak. So, line things up, get it all lined up, and just start, once you start in a corner, and then make sure that you got to get the, the starting right, otherwise the angle at the end will be all off. You know, you could start in the middle. Sometimes I'm going to start in the middle. I think I'll do this one and start in the middle. Because it looks like it's, it's going to turn out all right. So, you just put the iron on it for like 10 seconds. And then you just start slowly moving out. It's just like iron and mono, when you do monocoat. It's just that it, it goes a lot slower because the material is so thick and you got to let the glue heat up 